Next, into the tank, two young entrepreneurs hoping to deliver a billion dollar business. My name is Dylan Samra. I'm 21 years old and I'm a serial entrepreneur with a background in sales and marketing. And I'm Dan, and my biggest passion is technology. We're here today seeking a $160,000 investment for 10% equity in our company. ASAP is Australia's most popular on-demand delivery platform. You can get anything you want delivered in 60 minutes. For example, you can get ice cream delivered, medicine delivered when you're sick, and on top of that, pet litter. <laughs> <laughs> we've had hundreds of customers, frequent media attention, and we've managed to establish national partnerships with big brands like Priceline and Gelatismo. We have the ASAP app, which is what we're developing right now. And I'll give you a taste of it. The first thing I do, create a profile, I sign in, and I'm greeted with these beautiful menus. I can jump into categories, and search by food, electronics, clothes. And if I hit this ASAP anything button, it opens to a messenger and I can request literally anything that I want. So what do you say, Sharks? Would you like some fresh juice? Oh, always, if always. it's Janine's yes. chef. Sure. Here comes our courier now. Hey. 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 <laughs> Just some friendly ASAPer. So I got you guys all boost juices. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you very much. I've got our uh... Our raspberry right. Thanks, ASAP man. Yeah, well Thank done. You. Well done. So Dylan and Dan, g'day, I'm Steve. How are you doing? Very well, thank you, Steve. I take it you're from Sydney, eh? I was actually born in New Zealand. I lived in Queensland, Brisbane, most of my life. Where'd you wake up this morning, mate? Sorry? Where'd you wake up this morning? Sydney, yeah. <laughs> so, so the business is based out of Sydney? Yep. So 160,000 for 10%. So you're valuing your business at a neat $1.6 million. How long have you been going? So we've been going for the past six months operationally now. Six months? Yeah. Wow, that's a hell of a valuation for a six-month-old business. You must be confident. Yeah, we definitely are. We've gained massive traction in the past six months in terms of just being in the beta phase slash operational phase. We've nailed around $50,000 in revenue, right. and that was through minimal marketing and through low technology. So you've got your little spreadsheet out. What's popping out the end in 2016 in terms of revenue? We are looking to get a 15% profit margin, and we're looking at a $4.5 million revenue. 4.5 million revenue. Why don't we test this right now? Yeah. Uh, look, no, that, that, that was fine. I mean, that was a setup. Yep. But uh, let's give this a real test. I want to put an order in. I'm going to order a um, ball thrower for my dog. Yeah. <laughs> okay, they're a bit nervous, guys. I think I might be busting the, the myth. <laughs> I'm just giving, putting the number. Okay, good. Okay, well, let, let's make it a yellow uh, ball thrower. So we, we're off and running now, so the clock is ticking. Your two are here. Who's handling this? So that would be Calvin, our other co-founder. How many people do you got working in a call centre? So, th yeah, three co-founders working, and we handle messages. It's sufficient at the moment. What worries me is there's only one person, your other shareholder, sitting in a call centre, and he's got 15 of these backing up. So that doesn't sound like a very scalable model. So we can, in fact, handle a lot of orders up to that extent. We do deliver in 60 minutes, most of our deliveries, but a lot of them don't get to that 60 minute. It does go a little bit over 60 minutes. But so then your customer promise isn't 60 minutes. Yeah, it's, so at the moment... Because you just said to me, you go, yeah, yeah, at the moment we can't really do that. At the moment, that anything delivered in 60 minutes, you need the word after it sometimes. Dylan and Dan want a shark to back their 60-minute ASAP delivery business. Glenn has put the system to the test. And the clock is ticking. All right, yeah. we're up to... 23 minutes, and the car oh, has moved. Yeah, there oh, yeah. oh, there we go. How many, how many deliveries have you done? So we've done a total of 1,200 deliveries today. 1,200 deliveries. So you, you, you said it's the most popular delivery service in Australia. 
I'm, I'm trying to equate those two statements to reality. So, so are, you very, are you the most popular delivery service in Australia? Yeah. So we do have extensive PR in terms of popularity, in terms of awareness, and we have hundreds of customers and a strong brand following. You're only in Sydney then, sorry? And Correct. you have hundreds of customers in Sydney? Yes. So you're one of the, potentially one of the more popular delivery services in Sydney? Yeah, that's correct. So, so that's probably a, a more factual statement. Right. So, yeah, yeah, when we talk about popularity, Is we're talking a, uh, more about yeah. the brand. Yeah. Yeah. So what's your background then? What, what do you guys do? What's your expertise? I worked in sales and marketing and training. So I am studying business and I deferred university and dropped out of my other job in order to work on this full time. Who's building the app, guys? So in terms of the app, we're actually outsourcing it to another developer. All right, guys, I'll give you my verdict right now. Um, you need in-house tech. You are so early. I'm out. Don't you want to wait for the ball trainer to arrive? No. Come on. No. Dan, I'm getting a bit stressed here. I can feel the sweat being generated right now by the courier. <laughs> yeah. He races towards Pet Barn. There seems to be a lot of puffery in your presentation. You, you say things like um, the most popular brand out there, yep. that we've got hundreds of people all the time using mm -hmm. it, but yet I'm picturing one guy in there going, oh, where are the other two guys? <laughs> <laughs> you know, because what I'm frightful of is that you're over-promising and under-delivering. I'm out. OK, thanks for that. Look at this. It looks frighteningly close. <laughs> Oh, here oh, we go. Oh, oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Is the man? <laughs> oh, there we go. Yes. That's, yeah, that's me. You got a yellow. From Pet Barn. Fantastic. There you go. I've always needed that. <laughs> <laughs> well done, mate. There you go. 33 minutes. Well done, guys. Well, well done. Well done. My dog will be so happy. Thank you. <laughs> OK, so we set you a task. You came through. Yep. With flying colours, and with both a of margin, you, are so relieved, you delivered. I can so, tell. and I'm sure you're very relieved. And frankly, no one knew we were going to do that. So, thank you for doing it. Three sharks left. We've got to make a decision: is this investable? And that is the question: is it investable? I can only see so much work to get this scalable. So it's too early. I'm out. You're right. Thank, thank you very much. So, you know, guys, I've got to congratulate, because you, you, you're young. You, you're Having a go. They're having a go. They're 21 and 25. So, look, I've got to applaud it. You, you've come up with an idea, you quit uni, quit your job, and you're actually doing it. So we just got to be careful we're not roasting you here. You know, you are having a go. And there are some fundamental issues we are concerned about as, as sharks on the shark tank. But what I love is you're entrepreneurs. And you're giving this a go. I wish you well. Thank you for delivering my ball thrower. That's a fabulous thing, but I'm out. <clears throat> I think I was 21 when I started my first business and borrowed $5,000. I'm getting a lot of deja vu here, you know, and the mistakes. The challenge I have is your business model. The only thing you get from me today, I'm afraid, because I'm out, is a hug. Aww. <laughs> it's not an I entrepreneur's just hug. Thank you, young guys. Good luck, guys. <laughs> so good to see young people doing what you're doing, babe. You're, you're on your way, but you just need a bit of help, and you need it now, but not at that valuation. But good luck to you. Thank you so Absolutely. much. Absolutely. Thank you so Thank much. You. Dan, Dylan, good luck. Enjoy the dog catcher. Thank you very much. Good <laughs> on you, Dan. Thanks, Dylan. Sad. Oh, you gave him a hug. I know. And Steve <laughs> felt sorry for them as well, really. I know oh, you were, you were been... grumpy with them because you felt sorry for them. If they'd had the right advice earlier, they'd have been so much further down the track. Sometimes people come into the tank and you just hope they prove us wrong. Yeah, well, we tried. 